Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia if you're new here. Sorry if you hear the TV in the background. Gabriel is in the living room watching Paw Patrol. And I wanted to film this video in the kitchen because it's going to be a... I'm not sure what I'm going to title it actually. But it's going to be like a how I budget my groceries, how I shop, how I schedule everything um type video <laughs> so i'll figure out the title but basically you guys will see what i'm trying to piece together here but um i have my notebook here i need to grab a pen really quickly and then i have my laptop here because we are ordering groceries online because i prefer to do it that way i do it that way every single time i absolutely hate going in the store unless it's target i like i like going in walmart but my Walmart is just like busy most of the time and it's just not worth it like to see the stuff because I absolutely love Walmart um but it's just not worth it it's just crazy in there and um yeah so I prefer to order my groceries online so yeah I wanted to go over a couple of things before we get into my fridge and my pan or my cabinets because I like to go through all of that before I decide what I put on my grocery list so I'm gonna go over a couple of things really quick so yeah as I said I love to kind of take like an inventory before I start my grocery list just showing me what I do have so I don't buy duplicates or um just save money over on general I'm sure everyone does that they look in their cabinets and their fridge before they go out and buy food so that is the thing I do before um ordering groceries also I like to do five new recipes and five easy recipes. So what I mean by that is maybe five, four or five recipes that I've never tried before. Um, I usually like to do that. And then I like to do five recipes that I know that my family loves. So like taco bowls, barbecue chicken, like easy things that I know my family loves. Also, I shop for two weeks. So uh, my fiance gets paid bi-weekly. So we like to shop for two weeks. Um, it's just easier for me that way than having to go to the grocery store once every week. I feel like I save money doing it that way and I don't know. That's just what we do. So we shop for two weeks so that's 14 meals. I usually schedule about 10 meals and then two meals I like to call my like I don't even have a name for them. I just kind of those are the kind of meals that we either um, have breakfast for dinner because I always have like pancake mix or we have um, sandwiches or we have um, I don't know something in the cabinet soup so basically just like a whatever night thin for yourself night basically so I like to do two of those nights five new five four or five new recipes just depending on what I can find and then five um, recipes that I know that are easy and I make all the time so that's basically how I schedule my recipes um, for the five new recipes I usually just go through Pinterest type in WW I know um, you can look up like the skinny ish dish or um, skinny taste something like that there's a couple ladies that I always look up on Pinterest because they constantly post Weight Watchers things as well um, as Instagram Instagrams are really good um, way to get meal ideas when you're on ww also the ww app you guys know that so um but i like to keep it pretty simple so i don't like to get stuff that has way too many ingredients like i said i like to keep things simple so if the recipe is not simple i'm probably not doing it but i think i want to do a barbecue chicken i know that a pool barbecue chicken because i've been craving barbecue like sunnies if you guys know what that is um it's like a barbecue place i've been craving that so bad so i decided that i wanted to do that i know i want to do that so yeah so i go through pinterest and i go through instagram and i go through the ww app to find those five new recipes and then i will write my list in my little notebook this is just a ray dunn notebook i found it at tj maxx i think it was like five bucks but it says take notes it's really cute i literally write everything in this notebook so I like to do my grocery list here first just so I can when I'm taking inventory and when I'm um writing down things I can just um have it all here and then go to my computer and pull up the Walmart grocery website I also do it from my phone just whatever I'm feeling that day and since I'm sitting at the table today we're gonna do my computer so um yeah, I always have a code down below that can save you $10 off your first Walmart grocery pickup order. It's not sponsored or anything. If you use that code, I do get $10 off my groceries. 
and you get to know each of your groceries so it'll help both of us out so yeah I always have that linked down below not pressuring you just to let you know um and then what else did I want to say I have like a bunch of things that I wanted to tell you guys okay so I wanted to explain really quickly for anyone who doesn't ha or has never do has never done Walmart grocery pickup um, what it is so basically you can go on your phone there's a Walmart grocery app or you can go on a computer or a laptop whatever and um, type in just like Walmart grocery and basically you just find the Walmart that you're closest to um, you add all of the groceries to your cart and then you check out you buy them online and then um, it'll ask you to pick a time reserve a time so I want to go pick up groceries tomorrow for instance so today's Friday and I want to pick them up Saturday so I'm gonna find a time for Saturday and times go really really quickly especially in my area so if you live in like a big city I'm sure they go even faster um, but yeah they go really quickly so I always like to plan mine a day in advance so Friday I always do my grocery list if I want to pick them up on Saturday um, sometimes I do it on Saturday pick them up on Sunday but I'm kind of in a Weight Watchers reset right now I'm like completely resetting and just gonna do the best that I can um, so I want to get groceries as soon as possible so I will be picking them up tomorrow because I do have dinner for tonight so that'll be perfect um, so yeah you reserve a time and then like say you do it for Saturday morning Saturday morning you get up you would go to the um, your Walmart grocery app or check in however you decide to check in you can text it to them whatever um, and park in a spot or like mine usually ask what spot I'm in so if I'm in A B or C or one two or three so I just put like what spot I'm in and then they literally bring their groceries to your car and it is that easy you don't even have to step foot inside of the store which is like the biggest blessing especially if you're a mom or just like a hard-working family and you just don't you want to relax and stuff like that um, me personally I hate taking Gabriel into stores because he is just so crazy <laughs> he's at that age where he like doesn't understand that he can't touch everything he can't have everything like you tell him no and then he's gonna throw a fit so it's really really hard to take him places especially somewhere like Walmart where it's constantly packed at least my Walmart is so yeah that's basically why I do grocery pickup I do it every single time I've never had an issue um, I mean I've had substitutions that like don't make sense and stuff like that but never like a giant issue um, where they forgot something or I don't know I paid for something I tried never had any problems like that so I love grocery pickup I've got my mom turned on to it um, I try and get my friends turned on to it like I'm like please use it it is like the best thing ever I know some people are like to go in the store still and like look around but um, Walmart <laughs> Walmart Grocery even has a section for like their new arrivals in almost every section. So say you want to see the new arrivals in the pantry section. So you can, it's always, it's almost always um, literally laid out for you. It's literally laid out for you. It's perfect. I love it. I haven't been inside Walmart in months um, except for to like run back and get a couple of things. But like to do a full on grocery shop, no, I haven't been in months. So. I love Walmart grocery pickup. Like I said, I have a code down below. I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get into the part where I go through my pantry and stuff. By the way, I always clean my fridge out after before every big grocery trip, so I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. Um, but it's a mess. It always gets a mess because we just throw stuff back in there. Same thing with my cabinet, so don't judge too hard. I always clean it out. Um, before I get groceries so everything is like nice and neat and stuff like that also I don't think I said my budget is $200 since we shop for two weeks it's $200 so basically I try to do like a hundred a week because um, that's what I would spend if I was um, shopping every week and then sometimes we do go to Sam's Club because we do have a Sam's Club membership and they have lots of WW friendly things so that's not inside of our grocery budget usually I spend like 50 maybe a little bit more there but usually not more than that because like I said I get all of my other groceries at um, Walmart I just like to buy like their bananas and their fruit because I feel like it's a better deal but I don't think we're gonna go to Sam's I mean we might still go but I don't know if we buy anything this week just because um, I don't know sometimes we go sometimes we don't we really only got the Sam's Club membership for the food court but since I'm on WW we never 
eat there anymore why did i say food court like it was a mall their little concession thing like um because they have really cheap food that's really good you guys know if you have like a sam's or a costco near you they have like the pizza the hot dogs whatever that's like horrible for you but like super cheap so that's really the only reason we get sam's club memberships and just to like have something to do like to look around on the weekend so yeah i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna drink my coffee i'm gonna show you guys how i schedule the time really quickly and then we're gonna go through my pantry if i do that is i'm gonna go through um everything i'm gonna look at everything and then we're gonna sit back down and write everything down so let's do that really quickly start with the cabinets over here because my fridge is a mess so is this honestly so okay so i have oatmeal i always have oatmeal um as a breakfast option um so i don't need that i have some pasta so i can try and make something like that but honestly this isn't my favorite pasta so i've just kind of been hoarding it i have two of these little rice sides which is good because then i don't have to buy i already have two sides for a meal i have some quest bars those are sacks um right here is just kind of like my toppings so right here i have some taco seasoning i believe one two i have some taco seasoning so i won't have to buy that um i have a chicken flavoring packet so i might use that for a meal i have two sorry about my old bananas i have two ranch packets but i don't really use those for recipes um but i can make like a mississippi chicken with these two so i might have that as an option um so that's good this part for that right here i just want to make sure i have like so i have two soups i can eat for lunches I have one more can of tuna. I might want to buy another one of those. I have a cream of chicken I could use. Some fruit. I think I just need to buy green beans in here. I have some chickpeas. I have a giant can of fat-free beans, so I don't need those. Um, so yeah, I definitely need some new bananas and avocado and bread. I hate this bread, so I didn't use it. <laughs> um, this is a mess as well. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom. I think I'm going to have to buy some more peanut butter because we're almost out of that. Um, I have some shake and bake I can do something with. I need to buy some more fiber one bars because we're running low. Got pancake mix. I don't need that. Hot sauce is good. Croutons are good, I think. Rice cakes, good. I might need to buy some more corn chips because I love to put these in like soups and taco salads. Macaroni and cheese is good. So yeah, I'm pretty stocked, I feel. Which is pretty good because I think I'm missing like a lot of condiments and stuff this week. So let's just go through this really quickly. Definitely have to buy tons of milk every week for my son. I think I'm good. I am. I'm good on this Starbucks iced coffee. I might need to buy like a small almond milk. Definitely need some apple juice. My creamer is literally full. Plus I have a Funfetti one somewhere right there. Um, applesauce I'm good on need some uh fresh fruit i'm gonna need light sour cream mayo is good um barbecue sauce i'm good i have some hummus i have some ah! hummus i'm good i have some lunch meat so that's good i'm gonna have to buy a new salad mix because that is definitely expired i have some yogurts i haven't eaten yet this is just a can of fat free beans i just stuck in here um i have one tomato leftovers i need to buy some more sparkling water good on cottage cheese i might need to buy another salsa just because we use it a lot um i have a ton of oranges but i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy more i've got good on carrots there's yogurt back there probably had to buy some new spinach because i didn't end up using that one and in here i'm pretty much good on all of this stuff it's still really good i just have a mango onions a bag of lemons a cucumber so i'm pretty good pretty good and stocked i so yeah guys i'm pretty stocked i feel on a lot of things um i'll just have to be buying like the ketchup like i said um and then like other things for dinners and i forgot to put these away but um i buy these every week as well and i only have a couple left so i'm gonna add those to my list so Ooh. okay so like I was saying before my camera rudely cut me off, I am going to write down on my list everything that 
I know I need, then I'm going to go on Pinterest, scroll through there, find some recipes, also write those down, and then um, figure out the five recipes that we're just going to um, eat for like easy meals. But I will definitely let you guys know what's on my meal plan after I write it out, but I have to get to work on it because I have to check out by 2 p.m. and it is... 11:30, so it takes me forever to figure out meals because i'm just so picky so yeah i'm gonna go do that and i will see you guys in a little bit all right guys so my lipstick is probably a little bit rubbed off because i brushed my teeth because i realized i forgot to brush my teeth this morning and that's not okay so <laughs> y'all probably don't care but um okay so i finished basically my list i'm gonna run over that really quickly just to tell you guys what is on my little um, meal plan so I usually go from here one second at some point in the weekend I'm going to take all my meal ideas from my notebook and put it on my little meal plan thing this is from the um, Magnolia or the hearth in hand uh, Mag from Magnolia uh, at Target <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't say that my dinner ideas I wanted to write really quickly so I just went to the skinniest dis dishes Pinterest and just got some meal ideas because she actually had like the barbecue crock pot barbecue chicken is from her it was her meal idea so I um, just wanted to go ahead and like knock them out so I just did it on her um, I got all the ideas off of her Pinterest so I will link her Pinterest down below if you need any ideas but I'm going to be making a chicken and broccoli alfredo stuffed shell. So I'm not sure if she's completely Weight Watchers when she does uh, her recipes. But if not, then I'm going to have to figure out a way to make it work within my points. Um, because things like the jumbo shells that I would need for this chicken and alfredo stuffed shell, um, I think would be a lot of points. But I don't know. She, she talks about Weight Watchers a lot on her Instagram and stuff. Let me know if you guys know. But I'm going to do that white chicken enchiladas because i've been craving like enchiladas um like mexican food the crock pot barbecue pulled chicken i'm gonna do an italian stromboli because it looks intimidating and i want to see if i can do it with two ingredient dough so i'm gonna try that and then the last one would be the one pot creamy fajita pasta so those are five new meal ideas for me um and then my five easy meal ideas i'm gonna do taco bowls twice over the next two weeks because that is like super easy you literally cook up the ground beef i have the taco seasoning already um i put black beans and so easy and low in points too i think it's like eight points for everything i put on my taco bowl um then i'm gonna do another bird's eye viola i have one in the freezer and then i have one that i'm gonna make tonight so i'm gonna pick up another one um to have for dinner again or no 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 I'm not going to pick up another one because I still have two in the freezer. So I'm going to do one tonight and the other one at a different time. So I'm not going to pick up another one. I need to go take that off my list. Um, then I'm going to, you guys saw that like roasted tomato garlic chicken packet I had. I'm going to do that with some chicken and then I have some Brussels sprouts in the freezer that I'm going to do with that. And then we're going to do breakfast for dinner twice. Whether that means that we just have like eggs and turkey bacon or I make pancakes or we have breakfast sandwiches, whatever we decide. And then I have that shake and bake in the cabinet, so I'm going to do something with that and chicken. So whether that be buffalo nuggets um, or just a shake and bake coated chicken with barbecue or something, I don't know. We'll figure that out. But All right, y'all. So I've decided that I will put this grocery haul in this video just because um, I feel like my grocery haul is kind of small, hopefully. <laughs> um, I spent about $155 and that is way under budget for me usually i like go past 200 um last week it was like 230 or 240 something like that but i feel like because i bought so much last week i didn't have to buy as much this week which is super good because i wanted to stay under 200 anyway um so that's really exciting but i'll probably just take that 50 dollars and go to sam's club or um either save it either way i'm saving 50 dollars because we probably would have went to sam's club anyway maybe sometimes you do sometimes you don't but um, since I did save that 50, I could probably go there and buy some maybe like fruit in bulk or salad in bulk, something like that, just so I can have, um, more options for lunch. Cause I feel like I didn't get that many options for lunch, but I don't know. We'll see once I do the grocery haul, what I decide to do, but yeah, I'm super excited about that, but I don't pick up groceries till 10 o'clock tomorrow. So I will see you guys probably much uglier tomorrow cause I won't have makeup on and, um, 
around nine or 10. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, we have some reduced sodium chicken broth. I got two things of green beans, um, some garlic stick or bread sticks, some grated Parmesan cheese. I needed celery salt for a recipe and I was also out of pepper, so I got those. Um, some Fiber One birthday cake. I've never tried this flavor, so I decided to get something different. Um, these Simply White Cheddar Puffs are super good and they're good on points. Um, these turkey sausages are also good on points and really easy to cook so I got two of those um, some tomato sauce I needed some balsamic vinegar for a uh, recipe I needed some balsamic vinegar for a recipe so I got that I got some sugar-free chocolate syrup for a um, like brownie sundae thing that I like to make and I decided I'd get sugar-free um, these turkey sausage stick things are kind of like Slim Jims, but like turkey instead. A big giant bag of hash browns, corn chips for like various things. Got some Cheerios because I've really been craving cereal, and that's what I'm going to have for breakfast today. Um, some peanut butter because we are almost out. Got two things of the sugar-free pudding because it's just like an easy snack and a low point snack. Um, some goldfish for Gabriel. Also, these are really good on points too. Um, blueberry waffles because I love blueberry waffles and I needed something to give to Gabriel that he'll actually eat So I got those I didn't I um, have a recipe coming up that called for 21 of these jumbo shells And I didn't know how many came in a box. So I just got two to be safe um, strawberries 10 bananas Diced tomatoes broccoli two yellow onions three Roma tomatoes Got some vanilla halo top for a brownie sundae. Um, apple juice for Gabriel. Um, three of these tri-colored bell peppers. Some cilantro, fat-free cheese, mozzarella, and then sharp cheddar. Greek yogurt, because I needed to make two ingredient dough. Um, some green chilies, ricotta, sliced jalapenos. Some of the Starbucks caramel coffee, because I wanted something flavored already so I didn't have to use as much um creamer because I don't like sugar-free creamer so I use regular creamer um sugar-free brownie mix iceberg lettuce I have two of these uh tuna packets I've been liking tunas tuna with good then so I got sweet and spicy and lemon pepper extreme wellness wraps turkey pepperoni um, some ham, some of this tri-colored coleslaw for like a pulled barbecue sandwich thing that I'm making. Oh, I didn't show you guys back there. Let me move these. Okay. Corn, I've been looking for these forever. Like they've been out of stock forever, but I guess they had them. So they're the good things. The corn ones. Um, I got different bread that's not Dave's bread. <laughs> Only because, ah, my onion. Only because, um... I've been having like avocado toast and like peanut butter toast and it's really high points. Dave's bread, so I decided to just go back to this one because I need to save points instead of spending like 10 points on breakfast. Um, then this is my favorite clear American, the peach one. Um, there's milk back there and almond milk, vanilla unsweetened. I got two things of eggs, some extra lean ground turkey and that thing. Bow tie pasta for a recipe, some pepperoncinis, light sour cream right there. This is the this is my favorite, one of my favorite Starbucks creamers. I haven't tried the cinnamon one, but this one is so good. It tastes exactly like a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. It's really good. Um, fat free half and half. Two cans of no salt added black beans, some Velveeta slices, and four of these Clio bars and then some 50 less sugar and less sodium ketchup and that's all